So it's lemonade day, it's raining, it's really dull, but I had to make a review anyway because Beyonce. What's up, Earthlings? I know it's not Friday yet, but lemonade just came out, and this review cannot wait until Friday comes around. I hope you can't hear the rain, I hope it's not distracting. But this review is timely, so it has to be made right now. So here's my quick rundown of Lemonade, the visual album by the Queen Beyonce. Which, by the way, is a title exclusive right now. So you can purchase it on any music store, you can download it. Not even on Tidal, so you have to stream it. I'll leave a link to you know the streaming playlist right in the description box below. So be sure to check that out. Lemonade, to me, came off very artistic. Every song in this album is poetry after poetry, literally. I thought Formation would be the best record on this album, but it doesn't even come close. The visuals in the first song, Pray You Catch Me, are so sick, it's insane. We see Beyonce immersed and breathing underwater, looking at her own image on the bed, levitating and shit. Can't wait for the conspiracy theories on this one. The second song, Hold Up, has a cool Caribbean feel to it, reminds me a little of Rihanna. It's basically about, you know, her marital struggles with Jay-Z. We see her walking down the street and just wrecking everything in her way with a wrecking ball. I mean, with a baseball bat. Don't Hurt Yourself featuring Jack White is just fucking amazing. It's a completely different sound for Beyonce, with it being a rock-ish song. It totally makes her come off as a, you know, legit badass. You know, I love when artists go out of their comfort zone and try different things. That's the whole point of being an artist. Six Inch Hills, wait, is that the name? Is it just Six Inches or Six Inch Hills? Whatever the name is, is featuring The Weeknd. It's literally one of my favorite songs on the visual album. Oh my god, I can barely remember how it goes right now. But one thing I remember is, you know, all the feels I felt when I was listening to it and you know, that's what music is about, really. Daddy lessons was stupendous. Now, I've never used that word, stupendous. I barely even know what it means, but I feel like it's the right word for this song. It was such a good song, honestly. Love Drought, Sandcastles, and Forward still focus on her marital issues. She talks about how she wants to dress up in this side chick skin and wear her hair just to keep her man at home, which comes off very creepy ask me but then again poetry it's all very cryptic weird and dark which is very unlike Beyonce freedom featuring Kendrick Lamar let's let's take a moment to appreciate this song and you know it's glory it's so freaking awesome all night just basically highlights her you know message for hope for the future talking about how she and her man will survive and finally we have formation with everyone their mother and their dog knows and if you haven't heard formation get with the fucking time this album was so personal and so emotional and so raw you could tell she's actually being honest in this album i'm glad she addressed most of the issues that she talked about um because people tend to think that beyonce and jay-z have this you know flawless marriage which we find out is not the case maybe it also shed some light on that you know solange going ham on jay-z in the elevator issue also who the fuck is becky i'm legitimately concerned for every white girl called becky right now <laughs> if you watch lemonade comment below on what you loved about it or what you hated about it if you like this video leave me a thumbs up if you're watching me for the first time don't forget to subscribe and until the next video this coming friday stay safe and don't be basic